Arts and Corrections was the biggest um, institutional art program in the world while it existed for, you know, when it got bigger in the last of its, you know, last 15 of its 30 years. And we were a model program and still the Prison Arts Project at San Quentin is a model because we've got different arts, you know, right now we're built up to, we've got seven day a week programming, which is a lot to manage on a non-existent budget. You know, people come to see the program to develop other programs and that's what they'll be, you know, now in California they're looking, some people will be visiting our program to see how to revive what used to exist in all the prisons. Now, when we had Arts and Corrections, there were a lot of murals. And then we had mural crews. It was part of the giving back to society. The mural crews would do amazing, like a series of five giant paintings that went out to um, County General Hospital in LA from CIM or CIW. I mean, there was a lot of contribution of artwork to the community, high schools, public parks, big tile murals that were all painted inside. And then people in the programs often send work out to their kids or their siblings. or And so there's a sort of real healthy gifting of their work and keeps family ties together. We're actually, I counted, I think we have 34 artists in our section of the show. sketch things out and then I use like like transfer tracing paper and then put it over there and then I paint on top of that because um, I feel like it's it works pretty good I don't have that experience like you can just sit and draw I feel like I don't make as many mistakes and stuff because if I make all my mistakes I rather do it on paper I can erase it I can change things but I got a little bit more control than just painting on something and then have to repaint it and then repaint it and then repaint it and I can just go ahead and just think about working on the colors and working on the perspectives and stuff like that. So I kind of work in layers. And this is a piece that's been been generating a lot of buzz and what it is is part of my recycling series. I saw this guy coming into the recycling center and, and I was there just taking some pictures because it was going to close this place down, and and I decided, you know, if they're going to close it down, let me just do um, um, some artwork based up on the place there because I kind of feel like, you know, it's kind of sad to see people making extra income and it's getting closed down because there's people in the community feel as though that they're undesirable, but this is how they make their living, and I thought they do. You know, whatever life offer them, they just make the best out of that. And I think that's so powerful. So they working with what they got and, and I'm always working with what I got and I see that and and so I'm creating a series, you know, about that. By having art and having really long term dedicated teachers, you get this sort of mentorship thing happening and people discover something in themselves they didn't know. Now.